Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Solomon and this is Rotten Rebel. Yes, and you are here today on my fragrance channel where I have a lot of fragrance fun. Uh, you are here to help me decide or give your opinion on which one is sexier on a woman. Mm -hmm. And we are going to compare uh, classic uh, cabaret from Jean Paul Gaultier and classic pinup from mm. Jean Paul Gaultier. Exciting. Yes. Have you tried these two before? Uh, I have tried a, a cabaret. Yeah. And I really like it. Yes. Uh, I can't remember how pinup smells like, so that's going to be exciting. Yeah. So uh, let's start. Mm. So should we start with the cabaret one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and if you spray that on, okay. I'm going to read out the notes. Yep. So the notes in this one is mm. ginger and lemon in the top. We have orange blossom and marshmallow in the middle and we have vanilla and ambergris. So mm. I'm guessing sweet. Yeah. Mm. And uh, this one had uh, uh, marshmallow, right? Yes. Yeah. So you can really get that sort of a... Uh, you can get a bit of bright. You get a bit of, bit of brightness at the top, yeah. and you definitely get the sort of a sweet vanilla. Yeah. Uh, and some, the, it might not be exactly marshmallow, but no. it gives that sort of a vibe. Yeah, sugary sweetness. Yeah, I yeah. Would say. And then there's something a bit salty in the base. There's yes. something that's sort of, a, and I'm gonna guess that's the ambergris. Yes. Uh, I like it. It's yeah, good. it's really good. Yeah. So, do you think this is something you can wear just whenever, or is it a date fragrance? Mm. I think you can probably wear it anytime because uh, I'm gonna guess it dries down into something that is sort of a sweet. Yeah. And I really don't think that there's a wrong place for sweetness, and I don't think that this is sort of a overly super uber sweet in uh, in uh, like some per, uh, fr uh, perfumes can be no. uh, so i can i think you can rock this one pretty much anytime but i mean it's perfect for i think a date uh, or just when you're going out maybe for a drink or with your friends dying or something like that yeah i agree and i would wear this at any time mm. definitely so are we going to move on to yeah, the next, the next and one. then we have the pinup one which i have here. yeah there you go yeah so I I'm love the bottles. Yeah, the bottles are really good. And in this one, we have at the top also gin. gin yes, <laughs> I thought I was still on the same ah. page. No, so we also have ginger and lemon, orange blossom and marshmallow, and then vanilla and amber. Mm. So the only difference, I guess, is the amber instead of ambergris. Yeah, and, there was something else, uh, right? No, maybe no. it's... So yeah. it's the same. It's yeah. just ambergris in cabaret and amber in pinup. And I, I do feel that they are quite similar. <clears throat> so I, I still get that sort of a vanillish, marshmallow yeah. if you will, uh, vibe. Yeah. Uh, I do get the sort of a slightly fresh top. But I do get something that's sort of a, that I described that's something that might be a bit salty or just yeah. different. I don't get that one here. And this one to me feels sort of a less strong. Yeah, and I think like it, a light version. So this yeah. this this could actually be called maybe the little sister. Uh, no, of intense. Ah, yeah. So maybe a pinup intense, and this is just a regular pinup. Yeah, uh, they are quite them. similar, but this one to me is a bit softer. It is, but uh, aside, besides from that, they are very similar. Yeah, I do think yes. they are quite similar. So, uh, which one of these do you prefer? Mm. It's Both are nice. Pinup is nice. If you were to rate them. I think... Uh, I think... I don't think you need to buy both of them, because that would probably be overkill. Yeah. Uh, and as a man, I would most likely enjoy cabaret more because I believe it is it has more of that sort of a fluffy marshmallowy kind of vibe, which is at it, at at its core what actually makes this what it is. Yes. So I, I want that more than less. Uh, so I I think cabaret is better, 
more sexy and I would definitely prefer that one over the other one pinup uh, but I'm gonna say if you want something that may be even though I feel that both are sort of versatile yeah. if you want something that is even more versatile than the cabaret one then get the pinup one because yeah. this one is a lot lighter and you can rock it anywhere anytime yeah uh, but yeah definitely uh, at least ladies if you are watching this uh, go get cabaret because I feel it's really nice it is it's sexy uh, it's it's fluffy light it's not heavy or deep or anything like that I, I think it's really nice do you think both of them are sexy yeah but you know the the, the thing that makes cabaret as good as it is uh, that's less in the pinup one yeah so it's actually less sexy than but both yeah. are sexy okay yeah. so compared to other uh, fragrances for women how would you rate these on a scale from one to five Ooh, that's a tough one from one to five um i i think they are close to four i'm not sure if it's like 3.75 yeah. or maybe slightly above four but they are they, they are pretty damn close to four yeah. yeah. Do you think they are only for women or can men rock these? Mm, I think I think if any one of these is more female then it's the pinup one. Uh, I think Cabaret, uh, once it settles, it can be used by both men and women. It's basically yeah. like something that is sweet and we there's a plant there are plenty of fragrances that are sweet that for both men and women. Yeah. So I, I do feel that it is there's nothing about it that feels overly feminine to me. You can rock it as a man as well. Yeah. Uh, but I would prefer it on a woman. Okay. So that was it. We both uh, like both of these fragrances. Uh, however, if you were to choose one on a woman, it would be the cabaret one. And which one would you choose? I think I would go with the cabaret as well, mm. but when I bought them, there was only pinup, mm. so that's why I got it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So yeah, nice, um, uh, guys. Don't don't remember. I mean, don't forget don't to forget. visit Rotten Rebel yes. here on YouTube. He has tons of great fragrances for bo both men and women. Uh, a lot of top lists and first impressions and blind sniffs. Uh, and I'm not going to tell how he did on the blind sniffs, but mm, those are fun. Yeah, let's not talk about it. So check but them out. But check it out. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.